All right, here we go. All right, we're with our, uh, our new friend, um, Robbie. We're gonna call you Robbie, okay? Cool. And we're not gonna show your face, but I want you to tell us your story. Um, I'm just, just for our viewers to see here, uh, you've got a big old boot here, all right? Mm -hmm. 250 and bucks. 250 dollar boot. Now, did you have to pay, is that what you yes. had to pay for? It? Okay, cash. Yes. Yeah. And I see a crutch is, uh, a crutch. Yeah, uh, I have a pair. Just a pair somewhere. And you have got a swollen foot Mm -hmm. uh, unrelated, you do have a little nail fungus there. Yeah, that's no, unrelated. No, no, no. But what's really impressive is the redness that you have at the forefoot and at the base you of should, the toe. You should see it at night. It's worse, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so what's going on here is I stopped because I think you guys are smarter than the foot doctor that Robbie saw because I bet a lot of you right now, without even going any further in this video, know what's wrong with Robbie's foot. He's been misdiagnosed. And I want you guys to honestly tell me what's wrong with this foot right now before you watch the rest of the video. Put your answer in and then watch the rest of the video and see if you got it right. You went to a foot doctor and they did all of this for you. What did they say was the problem with your foot? They said it was a sprain. They said you sprained this. Did you sprained have an the event? Ankle. Did you have an event or something? Or? No. You know, I, I, I took out the trash on Saturday in the recycle. Yeah. Yeah. And it's possible I turned my ankle on the uh -huh. uneven ground. Yeah. You know, and then it just got worse and worse. And mm -hmm. the fall, this was on a Saturday. The following mm -hmm. Monday, my wife made me an appointment at a foot specialist. Right. Okay. Okay. I had already x rayed it at her, where she works, right. at her brother's office, who's a chiropractor. Right. And he said, I don't see sprain in there, but there's a lot of spurs. It's possible he broke a spur loose. And that's what's causing the inflammation. So we had a lot of medical workup. We, did they do blood work? Did they check your uric acid level? No. Okay, so here's here's my thing, and this is why we're... I'm not trying to embarrass a doctor here or anything. Look, folks, this is an easy diagnosis. My, my patient here, Mr. Robbie, I've seen before. He has a history of gout. Now, why you didn't come to me with this, I don't know, but that's okay. I'll beat you up later. But here's the thing. <laughs> He, he had a foot problem, he went to a foot doctor, and, and okay, nothing wrong with that. But look, we, we, we've, got, we've got the boot, we've got the crutch, we did x-rays, we did everything but a simple blood test that would have proven the gout. Gout is nothing more than accumulation of uric acid due to a metabolic problem in the body. The body has difficulty eliminating this particular uh, uh, compound, um, and it's easy to treat. So. Today, I'm going to put you on the right medicines, and um, you're not going to need the boot and the crutches uh, or any of that stuff, man. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, and I'm sorry you had to spend a bunch of money for such a simple problem. Yeah, me too. Robbie, I appreciate you sharing this with uh, our YouTube fans. You're okay if we share it uh, online sure. on the internet sure. and YouTube and all that? No one's going to recognize my toe. Nobody's going to recognize <laughs> your toe. Well, you're here also. We're going, to, we're going to follow up on your blood pressure, right? Yes. And what else is on your list? Oh, I've got... Uh... My wife says, uh, check the ankle for the... Right, right. See if it's so, really so sprained. what's really going on here? Uh, check oh. for gout. Yeah. You have the lab work, which right. I went and right. did myself. Right, right. Uh, and there's a number on there which shows high heart something on the okay. lab work that she would yeah. like you to You have at. an elevated CRP, C-reactive protein. Right. That's what uh, we were looking at just a moment ago. And for people who don't know what that is, that is an important inflammatory marker. And in people who it's elevated, we do show an increased risk of coronary disease. So uh -huh. it's going to be more important for you that we do the things to help prevent that. That would include exercising, weight loss, keeping your cholesterol down, taking the baby aspirin every day. Um, Can't yeah, take the baby aspirin with the gut. Well, yes, I, you can I, actually. I, okay. Well, I take one every day. Okay, so you should. So, so your baby aspirin. In other words, we're we're talking about helping prevent a heart attack. So, there's a lot of things that we're going to want to talk about, uh, and we'll do it off camera here in a moment. But I think sometimes it's interesting to know that none of us is a, a simple problem. That we're all a collection of mm -hmm. medical problems. You know, Isn't that mm -hmm. right? Robbie, you're a good man. Thanks for sharing with us, man. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. Tell us about uh, your experience with Meta7. With Meta7, I've gotten more energy. Uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Good. Um, I'm, I'm doing my everyday thing, everyday eating and things of like that. Even lost some weight with them. Mm -hmm. So I love them. Do you feel jittery, shaky? Anything no like jittery, that? no shaky. Just feel, you feel like just, a naturally Just a energy. natural person. Got it. That's got mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks. We're going to have to get these, get these vitamins, guys. 
you can't lose with them. All right.